Hello everybody, welcome to another After Effects CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackford, and today I want to go over text presets, obviously. So, it's going to be pretty easy and uh, fast tutorial, so might as well just get on with it. Let's, uh, uh, let's start out, I guess. So, what I did is just created, created a uh, text layer here with just some um, words, I guess. And uh, the text presets are going to be over here in the right on in this area where it says effects and presets. And there's a section here called animation presets. You can twirl down there. And then we've got um, text right here. So we'll go down. And now we've got a bunch of different kind of text presets that we've got going on here. Um, organic is a pretty good section for uh, adding presets. So let's just drag one onto our text. And we've got this uh, preset that's going on here where it just like flies flies in like this. And pretty much these text presets are um, someone that saved the settings on um, down here in our text animators. They created animators and just saved them and added keyframes and stuff like that. So that's uh, one of the presets. Just hit Control Z to get it off. Or you got to delete out the animators if you go too far. Now let's throw on another one. Just Let's see, this one says Horsefly, whatever that means. You can also drag the preset onto your words in your comp panel. So let me ramp preview this. So that's what this one is. easy enough and you've got a whole bunch of other kinds of uh, text um, animated and out is a de uh, decent one let's try this one fade up fade up lines let's see what that does actually let's use the fly-in because fly-ins aren't that aren't too bad well, that's how that one works out Obviously, it doesn't like come off the screen for some reason, but we can always take that and like move it. Then it moves onto the screen or something like that. So that's uh, I showed you how to do this effect before in uh, uh, an earlier tutorial, but now you know that you can just create it there and then just edit the animator down here to uh, fix your uh, preset and where it's starting out and where it's not starting out. So. Just bring it down here to start it out, so it's flying in now to the middle. Easy enough. And I uh, just got just uh, mess around with all these uh, presets here. I think you can uh, stack presets on top of presets, so let's try that. Let's add this blur one in here. Blur by word. Ooh, bullet train. Let's try that one. Oh, it, uh, let's see. Nope, it um, erases the preset that you had on there before, so you can't stack these. So this one flies in and blurs in. Kind of a decent way to bring a transition to your words. And uh, using these presets speeds up your workflow, so if you find one that you like, go ahead and use it. Just be careful that you're not using um, corny ones or ones that have been used a lot in time. So since these are in included with After Effects everybody can use these so people may have seen a lot of these um, ex a lot of these presets a lot so it's it's usually a good idea to add your own um, add your own type of like flair to them I guess change it up a little if you need to change up the settings a little but I mean something like this you don't really see too often but it looks pretty decent, so you could probably leave something like this with its default settings. Especially if you're working on like something that's not going to be on television, and it might just be for like a company, and uh, it doesn't matter if it's been seen a bunch of times. So just uh, keep that stuff in mind. That's how you add the presets. Very easy and very editable and everything like that. So thanks for watching this one. It was a quick tip. And it was way too easy. So see you guys later.